new teaser trailer coming out soon for my new stop motion. But for now, let's just jump right into the. Hello everyone, this is Inferno Zero again, and today we're doing a different type of review. I am going to be reviewing a Gunpla. Now for those who don't know, Gunpla stands for Gundam Plastic Model, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is a Gundam? Well, I'll explain. Hold on a second. Alright, Gundams are basically giant mechs controlled by, by people. People to fight all wars, and in some shows, used to fight against each other against like little matches, which is those series are called Gundam Build. But still, Gundams are pretty awesome, and I'm a big fan of it. And I don't mean just big, I actually have one very, very large cushion. Also, leave down in the comments below if you guys want to see more of those, my figure arts. And, of course, Gundam models are pretty poseable, and they're also customizable. And to show that, here we have my custom Barbatos Rensen Roja, if you guys see my Instagram. And his other form, Dragon Breaker. Which, these two will be in a stop motion coming soon. Look forward to it! But for now, let's get back into the review. This kit is called the GM Gym. Or Gym Gym, I don't know what the heck. And it's from a special called Gundam Build Di Fighters. Um, um, I believe Gym Counter-Attack. And for that, I actually watch and... Trust me, don't watch it. If there is one scene I regret, but it was a good, it was a good short, um, like a little special, but one scene, don't watch. Alright, and this type of kit is actually kind of like a stormtrooper from the Star Wars series, when they're basically just bad guys to get their butts handed to them by the main characters. Um, and of course, this is mostly a great kit to customize, because it's so bland, um, that you can do anything you want with it. And if you can see closer, you can see that I actually used a panel liner to go over all the panels, including the face. And the one of the things I love about this kit so much is that there's barely any stickers. You only get stickers for the head scope and the back of it. Oh! I apologize for that noise, but you gotta imagine when I turn his head around, it looks kind of gruesome. Now let's get into the Posability of this guy you got a ball joint for the head um it can do a little chicken action and of course his head can swivel if you know who that belongs to leave it down in the comments below and don't forget to like the video um you get a little swivel here arm can go up this far and the thing is on a little up and down joint so you can go up that high um 360 double jointed elbow and it's on a ball joint here, which means it can swivel. Of course, all credit goes for that word to the creator, but don't like spam it. Um, rotation here. The leg can go up that far and can go back that far. Has it spreads really nice. I'm not a creep. Um, course rotation at the leg. Double jointed knee. Ball joint for the foot can go up and down. Foot guard can go up and a pivot. Posability wise, this kid is pretty awesome with it. You can get some really awesome and natural poses. And of course, this isn't gonna end here. We also got some accessories. Alright, for starters, if you take this off his back right here and attach this beam effect, you get a Beam Saber, which you can plug right into it, slide right into his hand, and it fits pretty well. You get, in this kit, you get two beam swords and two beam effects, and we'll talk about the other one later. And for other weapons, you also get this little spray gun. Then you remove 
move the cap on this, and then take the gun, sliding in his hand, and then you take the piece and put it back. And then when you attach it to his arm, which by the way, I forgot to mention, and focus, focus. This also has a little hinge joint right here. And of course, the gun looks pretty nice, except it looks kind of puny. It looks like he's just going to spray paint an area. Oh, that'd be a good idea. And then you get one of the most iconic things for a gym. You get a shield, which, if you take the other beam effect, you can put it right into this clip. Which, there's another one in case you don't want this on the back and you want it. And to attach it, there's a little peg right here, which you put into its hole right here. And then you flip out the handle and just slide it into his hand and then there you go but of, but of course in, if you want to customize it more you actually get different heads and here's one of them so we get this head then you also get this head and then for the final head you get this one which is my personal favorite for size comparisons here we have the Blue Eyes by Dragon Funko, which I got for Christmas along with this guy. Thanks to my parents. We also have my custom Barbatos Rens and Roja and Dragon Breaker. Again, but leave it down in the comments below if you guys want to see reviews of these guys. I also leave it down in the comments below about any way to improve my channel. Then we also have my Soundwave. And get that up. There we go. Which I also got for Christmas from my aunt. Thanks to her. And then for the final one. Actually, you know the final two. We have, of course, Inferno. And then we have my Bakugan Garganoid. And yeah, this guy is pretty small and to me, but others, it's really nice. Overall, this figure is definitely amazing. Um, it is great for pose ability, and it's great for me doing stop motion because this guy is not flimsy at all. This guy is rock solid. That means he can be as hard as you want with it, and he'll stay as good as a rock. Anyway, this is the end of my review. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share my channel with all your friends. I am trying my best to get a bunch of subscribers, and if you have any way on to any advice to give me for my channel, contact me through my Instagram or leave it down in the comments below. This is Inferno Zero signing off. Thanks, and have a great day.